Number nine. Now, little sheet. Time is passing so quickly, isn't it? But I hope it is. Now, what have we got here? Uh, now, this is interesting. Uh, we've got a duration rate of four hours. Um, and we've got dextra is 20%, but we haven't got a volume. So how do we know what on earth the volume is? We know how long it's got to go through uh, there, which is four hours. Let's have a look at the question. Ah, oh, I see it's in two parts. We've got to work out the volume, what volume of dextra solution is required, uh, and then what drip weight is required. Now, we might be able to do that. So. How do we consider what the volume is? Well, we've got to look at what this is. This is dextrose, 20%. And that really means that there are 20 grams of dextrose uh, in every 100 mils uh, of the solution uh, that it's in. So what I mean by that, I'll just write it out, it's 20 grams sort of per 100 mils, so per 100 mils, you could put it like that, but, but 100 is, is per 100 or per cent, it's the same thing. If you change those two figures there, you could put a naught there and another naught there and a one across the middle. It comes to the same thing, that's what the percentage sign means. So that's why we've got a 20% a, a solution. But we can use this in our cal calculation to find out exactly what we've got. Now, we uh, <coughs> are prescribed here 50 grams of dextrose. So it goes back to the same old NHS idea that what has been prescribed, or N if you like, is 50. What have I got? Well, I've got 20%, which means 20 grams in 100. So I've got 20, need, have, in our solution, uh, of 100. And that's all we have to do to work that first part of the question out. Don't, don't start working out what the drip rate is required until you know what the volume is. So uh, this should be fairly straightforward, I would think. Um, take off our noughts again, dividing by 10. Uh, again, we could go crossways, but perhaps it's easier just to multiply the top, which is 500. Uh, and multiply the bottom, which is two. And even you know, I'm sure, that half of 500 or twos into 500 is 250. So we've got that as our first answer. 250 mils is what we're going to be giving. Now, let's go back to see uh, what the next question was, and it's what drip rate is required. So what have we got? We've got 250 to be given over four hours. And the giving set, yes, it was 20. It's the old, old giving set rate of 20. And don't forget to put the 60 in to multiply the hours and get them into minutes. You might remember this comes down to one over three. But almost what we could do here, we could cancel that down and say what's half of four is two and what's half of uh, 250 is one, two, five. So we multiply the top, which is one, two, five, multiply the bottom, which is six, and we're left with this division again. If you don't like the idea of arrows going up, you can always turn around the paper slightly and put a line up there and say, oh yes, six is on the outside, 125 uh, is on the inside. 125.0 I'm going to do again. 6 into 12, that's easy, is 2. 6 into 5, aha, won't go. But don't forget to register that fact. Don't just sort of move it on without thinking. That 5 is still there. So 6 into 5 won't go. So carry them on, carry the 5 on. 6, what, 8, so 48, with 2 over. But we don't need to go any further. There's our answer there, 20.8. Uh, and of course the 20.8 needs to be rounded off. That's more than 5, so that needs to be rounded off to, to 1. So we've got 20.8. Now we're saying equals 
21. And that should be our answer for the second part of the question. The drip rate was 21 drips per minute. And if you followed all that through, uh, you should have got the answer right. <laughs>